Good morning, Homestead. This is Greg Giglio, and welcome to Friday, March 22nd. We are officially into spring season. We got all our spring sports going. We got course selection happening. We got nicer weather coming up, although it's kind of supposed to rain today. Anyway, hope uh, your start of your spring is going well. Uh, let's go into our questions and, and shout outs this week. So um, big shout out to one of our students, Arnav Chakravarthi. Uh, his senior, he placed ninth in the nation at uh, a national competition for the Regeneron Science Talent Search. Uh, he went to Washington, D.C., competed against 40 others of the best students in the in the U.S. <clears throat> and came out in the top 10. So congratulations. We're really proud of him and all the great work that he has done. So nice job, Arnav. A uh, couple of questions this week, actually, and thank you for sending those in. We hadn't had any for a while. So um, person said, I know you need a parking permit to park in the student lot during school hours, but if it's after school, do you still need a permit to park there? No. Um, after the last class of the day, so on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays after 3.50, you can park there with that one. On Wednesdays and Fridays after 3.05, you can park there. And weekends, we don't check either. So um, it, after school, any, everything's open. That's all good. Uh, during the day, uh, no, can't do it. But weekend is also open to don't need a parking pass. Thanks for asking. Um, will FUHSD be holding more uh, SAT tests this spring? We held one just the other day on the Monday where we didn't have school. Um, and so it's kind of a convenient day to do it. Uh, but no, this only happens once a year. And so next spring in 2025 is the next time that it will be happening. So um, mark your calendars for that one. Uh, and then someone sent in a concern about their math teacher. It was a rather long one. It said, I'm concerned with how my math class is being run. Uh, they didn't give me any, any other specifics about who the teacher is or even who you are. So again, I need you to come in or either come in and see me or email me some more specific information for me to deal with this. Um, I, I, I deal with those outside of the video here. So remember, I will not address an individual concern about a teacher uh, or a student on um, or about me <laughs> on the uh, video. So um, it's, that's a that's a confidential issue. So please send me that information and I will be sure to sit down and figure out how to help resolve it for you. So please send that in to me. Uh, some general information for you. Um, just want to give you a, a, a heads up about a, a homestead board meeting. So every year, each of the high schools gets a board meeting where we get to celebrate and honor our students and staff. The one for homestead this year is on April 2nd. It actually is at the district office, but it's also on Zoom. So hopefully you can either join us in person or um, virtually. Um, but we do uh, all these honorees. And so we have these several students who are being honored for our foundation student. We have Ayana Young. Uh, we have our poster students, and so maybe you've seen the posters of the students that are in the district office or even in our reception area. Um, those are going to be given to Lauren Blake and Grace McGoran. Um, our student group that's being honored this year is our CCS Championship soccer, uh, girls soccer team, uh, and our coach of the year, Raquel DeJesus. You've heard a lot about them recently, so they're going to get honored there. Uh, we also honor our Teacher of the Year and our Classified Staff Member of the Year, which I've announced earlier, but that's Kyle Bonvecchio, our PE Department Lead, and Martha Murata, who works in the Resource Department. And we'll also be honoring this year's retirees. We have four of them, and so they'll be talked about at that at that thing, too. So hopefully you get a chance to, to come check that out and celebrate along with us. Um, again, this is one from last week as well about the centennial celebration that's coming up that uh, that uh, Fremont and Fremont Union are turning 100. So um, they come celebrate on Saturday, May 11th. And then uh, this is also a repeat from last week, but the senior essay contest from the PTSA is still going on. You have until March 31st. Uh, and there's your essay prompt right there. And if you click on the, the link there, it's live and you can go uh, submit your essay. Also, this is an, an repeat from last time, but the uh, foundation Spring for Education event, these are all live links too. So hopefully you can come uh, enjoy an evening uh, of fun and good food and good company and help support our schools. Um, this was also one from last week, but it's coming down to the wire here about the uh, presentation on fentanyl. They're going to see the documentary Fentanyl High. So uh, you can try and get tickets there if they're still available. Um, wanted to throw out some a couple quick traffic reminders. Again, as the weather's turning nicer, we're starting to see more, you know, pedestrians, cyclists, scooters, all that kind of stuff. And again, we're seeing people not wearing helmets. So please wear helmets. That's uh, the best way to keep yourself safe should something happen. Um, and also do not walk or drive down driveways in either the staff lot, uh, in the staff lot, because again, we don't like cars and people mixing. That's not a good site that can create some issues. So again, please make sure you're walking around and not down the driveway. Um, some important dates coming up. I don't think there's anything new onto this one. 
Um, so uh, did I put a board meeting? I did put a board meeting there. So again, those are all the things we talked about just a little bit ago. Um, short and sweet again today. Again, please remember to use that survey. We're getting down to the end of the year. So maybe people don't have as many questions, but if you do, or if you have some shout outs, because I know people have been doing some great stuff over the years, um, please make sure you, you give us that information. Anyway, have a great weekend. I uh, hope it doesn't rain too much and we'll see you next week. Take care.